old undefeated Danny Jacobs in his 21st professional fight faces Dmitry Pirog of Russia for a title belt. Fighting out of the red corner, wearing blue with red and white, officially weighing 159 pounds. His professional record, a perfect one. 20 fights, 20 victories, including 17 knockouts. From Brownsville, Brooklyn, New York, the undefeated Daniel, the Golden Child, Jacobs. And fighting out of the blue corner, wearing blue with black, a visual weight 160 pounds. Also, a perfect professional record consisting of 16 fights, 16 victories, including 13 knockouts, from Galenchik, Russia. From Russia with love, the undefeated Dmitry Piro. You're doing give me a clean break. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Let's do this. in punching power at least and now the bell sounds for round number one I have ridiculed the fact that the winner Surprise. of that belt stripped it from Sergio Martinez beat up Kelly Pavlik to clearly become the number one middleweight and the legitimate middleweight champion of the world who could have a terrific career in the sport either of whom could conceivably someday be a legitimate middleweight champion but to call him now uh, call one of the well, right away you saw Daddy Jacobs come by and try to land a big right hand facer. I think in his pressure, I think he's developed a little respect for Dimitri at this point. And he's realizing that he's going to create a slight problem because it's oh, oh, not oh, oh, that stop. easy to hit Barog very well. Well. <laughs> well, the first thing everybody who has seen him says about Dimitri Barog, and this was no, he's a guy who bends at the waist, has a lot of movement, and he has watched American fighters. Very, very relaxed. Andy Jacobs fighting in a southpaw stance now. Himself right now. He's, he's not having the success he expected as easy, and so he's trying to make him find out. Now, now Jank Jacobs goes back to his conventional stance. This is the way they'll match up against each other most of the night. Shops. Good right hand by Perot into it for him. Jacob still has not found a way that really upper body movement is, is really creating a problem for him. Bill. It seemed to land more punches, but the best punch of the round might have been the left hand from Perot. So show it off like this. Short combination when you get close. Don't go over the top. Bring them up. All right. Come on. Come on. Or whether his corner men have simply found out it's extremely convenient that they can buy jerseys. <laughs> Number 27, Brandon Jacobs, the running back for the Giants. Pick him up. Uh, Danny Jacobs had his corner and Victor Roundtree. Very, very good. I was going to say, but right hand by Perot. Jacobs was, almost went down. I was going to say, but he's going to figure out a victory strategy for Jacobs tonight. That's a good body shot with a left hand by Perot. Right now, Perot's the aggressor earlier in the fight, and he landed a big right hand here in the second round that has Daniel Jacobs. About to say that uh, Jacob's terrific trainer, Victor Roundtree, is going to have his have hands full tonight. Yep. Trying to put a plot of strategy because I know they were not expecting this type of a fight from Perot. Perot is a very, on this stage, very it's like he lives in Vegas. I, I was, yeah, especially being that it's his first time fighting. You're going to say he trips your attendant fight. Says and he's train, only been here a week. Says uh, he didn't take that all that easily to American food. Didn't go to the Russian restaurant here in the He's hotel. beating Jacobs up in this round. When I was, you know, I'm a very big fan of Danny Jacobs, and I was glad to not looked at much, but he's a very difficult guy to fight. Because he'd been studying him, I guess, being from Europe himself. Recover from the unexpected loss that derailed his career. It's tough. Last night. He fought last night. So. Andy's won several fights. Yeah, yeah, but he's still trying to get a key fight, so I think. You know, there's an improvisational quality to what Pirogue does, and Daniel doesn't seem really.
Perrault does things that you really have to look very closely as a real good boxing guy to really stand. As I said, he moves his head in and out, changes, gives you angles, changes them, and punches from those pivots. He's pivoting. After looking at him on videotape, break, break, break. reminded me of a younger, don't push, don't slightly push. bigger Javier Castillejo. Remember yeah, Castillejo? Yes. Yeah. Fought against Vargas, fought against De La Hoya, et cetera. Castillejo was long-armed, more conventional than Perot. No, this uh, is the, I can see the, the, uh, the, the Ray Leonard moves a lot. Not as fast yeah. in the front row, but he's Six, twisting angles. pivots. But he's a pressure fighter, which is amazing. Stop, stop, stop. Right, moves his head well, to the inside. Yep. Still, still. Pizza. You got me? Landing punches. And I think the biggest problem that Jacobs had, he didn't know where they was coming from because it's such a different variety of punches. And the right hand did not down. Strong legs kept Jacobs from going to the canvas. But I got to tell you something. I disagree with Emmanuel Stewart. That should have been a knockdown. Those ropes were holding this guy up. Bird gave him a break on that call. He's caught up in those ropes. Be as it may, Danny Jacobs probably pulled out the first round with good, you know, strong Jacobs right in hand. round one. Compu box numbers clearly favored Perot. I didn't see the ropes holding. He was bending forward. I think it was that. a pretty close he call. Was bending, he was bending forward when he regained his balance. And not that he was back in the ropes holding and where he would have fell out of the ropes. I was watching so, his so butt I, I on the replay looking for exactly that. And I took the rope instead of on it. But yeah, it was, it was a very close call. Certainly, Bert. I think the more important problem is Danny Jacobs trying to figure out the movements and the pressure that's being applied to him. From not all a good place. But Perog has him against the ropes again, and now there's a look of concern on Jacobs' face. Mysteries in there for him, I which saw need that, to be uh, solved. I saw that look after the first 30 seconds. They had rehearsing and and and, and playing. So, you know, he just have to make adjustments if he can. He realize he's got a very talented fighter. And you know, just because Perog did not star in the Russian amateur program and go to the Olympics, several Russian fighters have gotten from their Olympic action. A lot of people might have thought, Other oh, maybe he's, maybe he's better yep. because he has trained himself into a more American the tapes of Floyd Mayweather Jr. Look at Leonard. the head movement there. <laughs> there. over there neither. You're fighting somebody from Russia if you're looking for not here. This guy is a mover. Well, what's interesting to me is the pressure that he's putting on. The pressure that he's putting on Danny. He's making Danny fight and move a lot faster than I think Danny wants to. Right hand by Jacobs. Yeah, I think he been pulling. That that may yep. help his composure. Yep. I know he cannot fight going backwards. Keep him off balance. Don't let him. Right here, you can see the great defense of Perog, which is his upper body movement. He pivots and turns. Good head That's movement. Punches, even if you're hitting with one punch. Right here, you see Jacobs in a beautiful, clean right hand. Probably the best punch he's landed tonight. But he's going to have to be in great shape tonight because he's going to have pressure on him all night long. Four. Given that Perog has already landed three or four of those kinds of damaging shots with both the left and the right hands. Good body shot by Jacobs. Perog leaned into that one. Copy box numbers in the third round favored Jacobs. 13 out of 75 and six of four. Jacobs back in that southpaw stance. Seems to feel he maybe has a chance to land a power left hand out of this stance than out of his conventional stance, Emmanuel. Well, I, I still can't but I haven't saw him land too much except the first time he did it, he was able to land a loop in left hand. But, um, you know, it, it, uh, it's risky when you're fighting a guy doing anything that's experimental, so to say. Rogue's got a little bit of showboat in him, too. Definitely not your regular Talking to Jacobs in there. Jacobs hammering to the body. I don't suppose Rogue is you know, speaking. Surprise me. A lot of these guys, they speak a lot better English than they let you on to think. Most because most of them had it standard in their school. Over they, they try to let you think that they don't speak, but they understand a lot of things when we're speaking to them. Well, that was always the old Soviet persona. I mean, during the days who spoke perfect English were absolutely deaf and dumb when American reporters were around. Yeah. I think if I were in Jacobs' corner, Emmanuel, I might beg him to focus on the body for a while. Yes. And then Jacobs has to try to throw his flurries. I, I think that the fight's going to be fairly competitive to a certain degree, but I'm just worried about the condition of Jacobs going down the stretch. 
Well, I don't think he's ever had this type of a pressure on that put on him. The guys come in in very difficult pressure, too. Not a straight line pressure. Well, Jacob's biggest win was in August Perogue. against E.J. Smith. E.J. Smith, much older than Perogue, not nearly as active. Here you see. Everything is off the block. If you want to get your combination, though, bring your defense back up. He come out to catch, come back at him. All right? If you get him going back. This is something totally new to Jacobs right now, being hit with the punches that he's been hit with tonight, and then also an opponent that he can't seem well, to control. And studying his expression, he seems to be adjusting very well. Eight out of 51. That makes it sound as though Jacobs is the growth who landed the more significant blow. So this is a this is a fight in which CompuBox, num CompuBox numbers may not be the case because of what an unusual style Perot de demonstrates in the ring. Good comeback left hook by Jacobs there. Uh, you know, he, <laughs> I, I think he just told him to hit me low, but a big issue of it, which I think is good. Yeah, I didn't see yeah, anything really land low. It, it was, was low, low, but I don't think it was intentional, and I don't think it was. Oh, oh down goes Jacobs yeah. on a perfect right hand. Right on May be Four. that. Five. It's over. No oh. way. Robert Byrd won't even finish the kiss his arms, and Jacobs is gone. On a knockout by Perot. But you said it, Emmanuel. He's never seen it like the opponent with whom he was in there tonight. And Dimitri Perot from Sergio Martinez, the legitimate Mr. Oh, I doubt it. After seeing Perot, Perot is going to be up Here's the right hand, and boom. Jacobs was asleep, but alas, the knockout had already been scored. But look at the body movement of Perot coming in fight with a guy like him. What a cagey, scary yeah. athlete he is. Fights like an old veteran. It's an style. All three judges had Jacobs up three. Middleweight months. champion of the world from Russia with love, Dmitry.